Yo everyone, Skeptic here. Today, we got some more news on Digimon Survive, and it's on some Korean show. I don't know what this thing is, but <laughs> apparently there's more Digimon Survive news on this. So without further ado, let's check it out and see what it has to offer. <gasps> oh my god, they have Gilmon. That is so, oh, that's so cute. They have little Agumon and, oh my. Can I please, can I please buy one of these plushies? I really want a Lopmon and a Gilmon and an Agumon. Okay, so I'm assuming he's introducing himself, like he's the director of, he's working with Bandai and stuff like that. So basically the, the introduction. え、韓国にもえ、デジモンが好きな方々がお勢いいらっしゃると聞いています。Something about the Digimon world? I don't know. Oh, is it, I think he's talking about like the Digimon universe and how it's like an anime and games or something around that, I think. いただいてきたかというふうに思っております。え、そんなデジモンのゲーム作品の中でもデジモンサバイブは異文化端または概念的な作品であると考えています。え、本作ではテキストアドベンチャーのゲームシステムを軸としながらえ、自身の心の現れ
I'm not too sure what that is. So yeah, you get to move around, of course. Oh wait, did he select an item? What, what icon is that? Yeah, so he did... Okay, so he did movement first. The first icon is movement. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, he did a skill. If we go back. Yeah, he did a skill. Yeah, see? SP0, SP25. Uh, It shows you... Probably the information on what the skill does, like the description and stuff. And it also shows you, like, the impact area. Okay. I see. Okay. Oh. Oh. Interesting. So there's back attack. Okay, that's pretty cool. So yeah, positioning is going to be super key to this to these types of kind of tactical RPG games. Kind of like Fire Emblem, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. So it, it has that similar type of gameplay feel, which is not too bad for me personally because I've enjoyed a little bit of Final Fantasy Tactics and I've played through some Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. I haven't beaten them, but they were very enjoyable. So, this game I definitely want to dive into. He's going to move around. Yep. Use a skill. Yep. Baby flame. Oh! Side, att side attack effective. So, there's, there's back attack and side attack. Which one did more damage, though? Oh, wait, no. Agumon. Wait, what's Agumon? Agumon is... Light vaccine. Vaccine types beat virus types. So that's why it's also like super effective. I see. Okay. This attack did 212. And I think Agumon's did like 238. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? The character's also in like a chibi format. Digivolution? No, he's gonna digivolve to, uh, Greymon? I'm calling it. He's digivolving. Yep. Oh my god. Wow. <gasps> That's where the cutscene comes from. So there's going to be a cutscene, I'm calling it right now, there's going to be a cutscene in the game where you're going to have to battle, and you're going to, even though you do damage and you win, either you win and it goes to this cutscene, or they force you to die, and then you go to this cutscene. That is so cool, look at him. July 28th, 2022. PS4, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, Steam. Rise up, Steam and users. Rise up. But, man. So, overall, we got a little bit more gameplay. Got a little bit more... Of the... Kind of art style and direction that they're going with this game. And I am fairly interested, to say the least. Because... I actually do enjoy visual novels. I think they're fun to play. And just seeing that it's in a visual novel kind of style and that you have different choices, I don't know how influential these choices are to the game, but if it's very influential, then I actually kind of like that. Because what's the point of giving, like, what's the point of giving a player the choices if it doesn't impact the story. Like, it, it doesn't make a huge impact. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. You might as well just continue the dialogue at that point, right? 
So hopefully the dialogue, not the dialogue, the choices actually make a huge impact. And with that, it increases the replayability of the game. Because I always love replayability, replayability in games. I fucking love that shit. And if I'm stuttering so much, I apologize. I literally just woke up and I just wanted to... I was just really excited to do this video. So yeah, we got the dialogue options. Okay, so I'm not sure what this lightning is. Move around. I'm assuming that's your your inventory. That's what I'm assuming. I don't know what this is. What the fuck is that? Is this like... I, I think this is like speed up or pause. One of those two, I think. Not too sure. Oh, wait, what the fuck? I didn't even notice this until now. But there's a chest here. So... I'm assuming that... You can like take your Digimon and like break open this chest to get items. Maybe that's how you get items or it's it's a specific story item that is relevant to like the quest you're on. So it's either like a quest item or just an item in general. I'm very curious about that. Anything else I can notice in the background? There's not too much. This is pretty sick, though. I actually love the art style. Man, then he just turns into Greymon. That is so sick. He's like, I got you, brother. I am so ready to play this game, actually. I'm so ch okay. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it real with all of you. I suck at these type of games. If there's any type of strategy, any 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 sort of strategy games that you throw down on the table, I'm gonna lose. A hundred percent, I'm gonna lose. I have have very surface level strategies. I, I don't go super in depth. So <laughs> honestly, I'm kind of afraid if the game is kind of difficult, but I wouldn't mind it though. I think it would be pretty funny just to see me struggle in this game while other people are like smooth sailing. But overall, I'm just super excited to play this game. At this point with all the gameplay, teasers, trailers, and new videos coming out. I'm pretty sure most of us have an idea of what the game is going to be like. And so far, I like it. The visual novel side, the tactical RPG side, the art style. I think it's very interesting to say the least. I'm very curious to see how the story is going to pan out. Because it's it looks like it's taking place at like an abandoned school or something. Or it looks abandoned or I don't know. I'm very curious to know what the story is going to be like. And how it's going to progress. Or how we progress. Actually, no. I guess progression would be dialogue progression like in most RPGs. So never mind. I, I answered my own question. Alright, everyone. Thank you for watching the video, if you got this far. I hope everyone here has a great day, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at. And until next time. Bye!